Like most of Johnny Toe's films, Breaking News observes a symbiotic relationship between cops and criminals. There's a mutual understanding and an accepted push and pull between the two sides in his films, underpinning tense, slowly heightening Leone-esque standoffs that overflow into cost, consequence, and gorgeously staged action. Unlike John Woo's balletic, graceful, idealized heroes who are trying to outmaneuver a corrupt society with dives, leaps, and slides, Toe's characters plant their feet and blaze away with a grim acceptance of reality and their ultimate fates. The riveting six-minute single-take sequence that opens the film introduces and slickly encapsulates many of these themes, while invariably drawing attention to the craft of movie making itself. Breaking news is very meta, and Toe is drawing attention to the technical filmmaking on purpose. Central to the film is a propaganda duel between a police force desperate to revitalize its image and escaping crooks with codes of honor looking for a break. Within the narrative, video playing out on the internet or on television is a tether, connecting the worlds of cops and criminals in an often deliberately smooth, unbroken way. Split screens are also implemented to generate suspense and foreshadow chain reactions to one incident in two places. Both sides must respond to how they're portrayed and what is revealed about them kinda like in real life. It was believable in 2004, and it's even more timely now. Both sides use tactics to garner audience attention and sympathy that anyone who's spent time on social media should be familiar with. There's emotional manipulation, food porn, like a whole montage of food porn, self-aggrandizement, one-upmanship, and more. The police FOB and gang hideout are shot clearly and conventionally as the two diametrically opposed pillars of the story. The storytelling therein also has a daytime soap opera vibe to it, which is where some of the rough edges in this film do show. Lowbrow humorous beats do feel a little off, as do some ill-conceived and underdeveloped romantic interludes. It is all meant to contrast with the world existing between all of the power plays and grandstanding and story spinning. A surreal labyrinth of winding corridors, muzzle flashes, and smoky stairwells, with characters often making messy calls. They're far less rigid in their morality and how they present themselves. This is the real world, and it's complicated. Both the cops and the criminals are saying, we're the good guys on the air. The reality is that all of the characters are very, very grey. Kinda like in real life. My favorite subversive example of this would be the hostage, who's a self-interested goof and capable of looking after his kids. The criminals end up cooking for everyone as he barely knows how, which turns into this last supper for the men, who know that they're boxed in and have precious little time left. Toe loves improvisation, and he relies on that energy for better and worse. It isn't quite flawless. But it's still a masterpiece. Maybe even Toe's masterpiece. Sociopolitically and as an interrogation of genre, breaking news is clear-eyed and effective. The catch and receive, respond and react between the media, the criminals, and the police is intelligently conveyed almost entirely through visual storytelling, eliminating the need for lots of dry exposition. It moves briskly, wraps up in just under 90 minutes, and the technical filmmaking is revelatory. If you're after a summer actioner with brains, look no further. Also, Criterion, if you're listening, we need this one too.